The penguin Pokemon Piplup is going to be our starter. So we're going with Piplup. Plus attack, minus speed. Let's go. It's not like this thing was outspeeding anything anyway. Okay, so he's level 14. Yes, 96. Perfect. Which means he'll level up. Okay, Gym 1 is coming up here, folks. Just need to check a couple things. Summary. The speed is 12. 10. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use two. That's fine. So two rock polishes, and then it should outspeed and kill from there. Yep. Yeah, sharply is two. Yeah. I, so the thing is, is basically when I face this Cranidos, so basically here's yeah, actually here's what I'll do. I'll level up and then I'm going to go over the strats when I get to the gym. Um, OK, so here's the strategy. We have gotten Pewter up to the edge of when he levels up. You see, he's got 96 left. So this thing will kill the, the first Geodude. Um, It'll kill the first Geodude, right? Which has Rock Throw and Stealth Rock, because it's always going to throw up that Stealth Rock. So we get um, we get one uh, basic... Okay, I'm going to start over. Holy cow. So here's the strat. We have this thing at level 14. We've gotten its experience up so that when it kills that first Geodude, it'll level up to 15 and learn Magnitude. But before we can defeat the Geodude, we have to use two rock polishes. That means we will outspeed the Kranidos and avoid headbutt flinches. We want to do that, right? Also, I'm pretty sure Magnitude will just Oko everything on his team. So there's that. So that's basic, That's the plan. Uh, <laughs> it's nothing crazy. It's pretty straightforward. Um, we have these guys in the back uh, with their water moves, with their fighting moves with their grass moves, just in case they need to come in, but they're all outsped by the Kranidos. So this is definitely the best uh, best way forward. So let's take on Rourke as I already hit the thing. <laughs> it's Rourke time. Here we go. Rock polish once. That's plus two stages. Okay. Nice. This is plus four. With one, we were outsped by the Kranidos by one point. So that two is necessary. Okay. We gotta keep in mind our damage that we're taking. Ooh, we're not doing a lot. Perfect, there's the stealth rock. Okay. Come on, let's see a crit. Come on. We're just out rock throwing each other. Okay, he's doing three to four damage on me, so it's four slash eight, so it's seven or eight damage on me. Come on. Nice miss. Oh, I forgot he has potions. That is unfathomably annoying. Should I switch out, do damage to this? No, I'm gonna just try this. Come on, let's see a crit. This is unfathomably annoying. He's only got one potion though, right? I think. What items does he have? It doesn't say. Man, the, the charts for this are very annoying. Let's see a crit, come on. There we go. Okay, just be careful. Come on. Oh, one away. Okay. 
Should have uh, should have probably tackled. I think Rock Throw has a chance to miss. Whew, that's one. Okay, now he levels up. So its speed is 13. Okay, well that's kind of annoying. It means I only had to use one, I think. Yeah, I only had to use one, so I don't know. It's an extra turn of damage. Okay, we forget magnitude. Or sorry, we forget tackle. Okay, so what we just did, to be clear. Okay, so what we just did, to be clear, we have used two two rock polishes to outspeed this Kranidos. We edged our pewter so that when it leveled up defeating the Geodude, it would learn magnitude, and now we magnitude to hopefully kill the Kranidos. Let's see it. Seven, that should do it. One and done, baby, let's go. And now he should also Oko this Onyx. Let's see it. Come on, baby. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. That is a pewter solo of the Rourke Orberg Gym. Look at that double level up in the same battle. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. One down. Turn that badge on, ba-ding. Whew, easy. Easy, guys, easy. That's one gem, and also, use the counter. Level cap up. Yeah, new level cap is 22. Let's go. We can now use Rock Smash. We can now buy repels. Is this Stealth Rock that he gives us? Excellent, excellent stuff. That's one gym down, y'all. Okay, we got this level nine fishy. We're gonna take him in. We're gonna switch it with, I don't know, Badoof. The reason we have this level nine fishy is because we made a promise to uh, Jay, Frida, who's not no longer here. He didn't die, he just had to leave. Uh, <laughs> to be clear. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna get him a guaranteed onyx. And we're gonna name it Flint. Okay, so our encounter table is Geodude level five to eight, Zubat five to seven, and Onyx six to nine. Nice. Um, so if we lead with a level nine Pokemon and we use a repel, we could not encounter a Pokemon at level anything below level nine, so eight and below, which means we can only encounter Onyx. So we use a repel. And now we try and encounter Onyx. We can technically encounter Onyx at the level below too, because it's only Geodude or Onyx um, down there, but we might as well just be in here. I think we can encounter guys in here. This shouldn't be this hard. Why is this this hard? Okay. That was my last repel, so I need to go buy more. <laughs> We're gonna try down here, because this is where I was encountering guys before. If it doesn't work in these next two repels, we're just gonna risk it. Onyx? Onyx! Here we go! Okay. Come on. Got it! Flint! Welcome to the squad. Flint. F-L-I-N-T. That's a color, right? We did it. I know Fred is not here to see it, but we did it. <laughs> I'm so glad that happened. That's good. Justice, justice for Freda. Okay, let's check out our new Pokemon. That cost us a load of money, by the way. <laughs> Relaxed, I don't know if that's any good. Plus defense, minus speed. Okay, not what I would have liked to see, but this thing is a tank. Protects itself from recoil damage. Let's go. That's awesome. That's so good. This guy is a, a is a dude. 
This guy's a dude. I did actually change a couple things up on the new overlays because a couple of people said that's confusing. So I don't know if you can see. Also, excuse me if I sound gross. My wife gave me a cold because she loves me so much. She got me the gift of being sick. So you love it. Um, uh, let's see what I do. Oh, the emojis. I switched them up a little bit. So before there was like a little dartboard for the attempt. Now it's it's a guy running because it's the run. You see it? You get it? Uh, we got our death counter still. It's still a skull and crossbones because obviously. Um, and now we literally have a cap that has the words level written on it. It is the literal level cap. How about that? <laughs> Okay, let's teach Rock Smash, shall we? Because we got some stuff to get that we can get from Rock Smash. Uh, I'll keep Defense Curl because it could be fun for rollout strats, so we'll get rid of Growl. For those that don't know, if you use Defense Curl before you use rollout, um, it gives you a it like gives you a boost. So like rollout, every time you use it, it like doubles in power or whatever. If you use Defense Curl before rollout, you get a double in power right away. So it's like defense curl, roll out. It's like you used roll out twice. Minus the damage that you'd get from using it the first time, obviously, but. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool little not obvious game mechanic that they give you. <laughs> we have some items to collect in Ravaged Path, and then we're pretty much just straight to Floroma Town. Oh, see, okay, we do face Team Galactic. That looker, genuinely, what are you doing, bud? Uh, they're right here. <laughs> they're right here, doing some suspicious things. Disappointed. What is happening to our police force nowadays in Sinnoh? <laughs> Detective force? That's like the same thing. I don't know, who knows? <laughs> A civilian. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, stunky. Let's go. I feel like I'm going to ruin these guys' days. Let's screech. Which one should I screech? Poison is not very good against anything. But I don't want him to poison me. Glammeow is probably the bigger problem. Oh, we screech off. Let's go. Oh, that's a... Ooh. Nice burn! Okay, wow, we're just taking care of business today. I guess I'll just kill the Glammeow, probably. Adios. Good stuff. That is certainly a choice, St Stunky. You had two options. Attacking a low defense screeched Chimchar, or Fury Swiping's an on Fury Swiping an Onyx. So you made a bad call. But it's okay. It was always going to be that <laughs> way. Get wrecked, get wrecked. To the Poke Center. Okay, I think there's a lady somewhere that gives us pluck. I don't remember where the lady gives us pluck. It's one of these houses. Honey? Oops. Yay, flowers, indeed. This is the... That's the lady who gives you the event item for getting... What do you call that place? Oh, nice. Oh, 
All right, I'm also going to make a rule um, because, again, grinding is annoying. Um, as soon as, because, like, realistically, you could just grind it out to get all of our things. Um, once we get a berry, we can get unlimited versions of that berry. Um, this is the lady that gives me pluck, or the little girl that gives me pluck. Uh, it's like one of those things where it's like, if you can grind to do it, and all it takes is time, then, like, uh, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just hack it in. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a berry hack. Yeah, the only updated codes. I think it's, the problem is it's only all berries. And so I will need to somehow keep track of which berries that we have. So I'll have to figure out how to do that at some point. But we're not going to worry about it right now. There's a lady in this place that gives us like a berry a day, I think. Yeah, I think it's this lady. Rost berry. I don't remember what that does. Bag. Um, paralysis burn. Oh, it's yeah, it's the burn one. Okay. Yeah, she can give us, like, one of five berries. Um, okay. Um, well, we can't go up here yet. So that's where we'd go get our next encounter, but we're gonna have to go to the Valley Windworks first. I want to see my papa, my papa, and I lived at the Valley Windworks. But then a whole bunch of people dressed like spacemen came. They kicked me out and they're making me, me and my papa do something. Please, trainer, I miss my papa. Isn't that nice? Well, that's not nice. <laughs> but. Oh, wait, do I have to, I have to wait until. Do I actually have to wait until after I beat Team Galactic to get the Drifling? Ugh. Oh, I hate this part. Um. Okay. <laughs> I will battle you for it. Um, should be pretty straightforward, we're just gonna screech. I think that's probably the strat, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I think we just flint and screech into rock throw? Like, if we can get a screech or two down, then, like, pretty much anything that we have <clears throat> probably, like, does massive damage. <clears throat> Ooh, wow, that did not kill. Granted, we are under-leveled. Oh my gosh, that Zubat has Toxic? That's crazy. Just gonna... Just gonna do this. <laughs> Let's go. Nice. Good job, Flint. That's the entry galactic grunt down. I can't get in without my works key. And what does he do? Doesn't he drop it? I thought he drops it. I can't remember. And we're going to go over here. We're going to get our strongest moms. Yes, this is the famous Perugly. I feel like it's stronger in Diamond and Pearl, and I may be misremembering that, but yeah, this is the infamous Perugly. This is a big bad, that's for sure. Who's got higher defense? 
Okay, so there's a couple guys that I want to switch up, and now I've got them both next to each other. So I'm pretty sure Flint has way better defense. 59 versus 37. Um, yeah, it doesn't have anything that's, like, super good. At least for these guys. Uh, I mean, it'll be a good switch in because I believe he resists everything. Um, yeah, he's super got higher defense, so I'll probably lead with him and then rock throw the Zubat, which will probably kill it, and then we'll just take it from there. Um, let's see, better attack, better special attack, lower defense, basically, but this thing is way faster. So it'll be interesting to see who we bring between these two. But we'll get them up to level, and then we'll see how to proceed from there, I think. My sweet honey. We must have to attract Pokemon. I was trying to do a poo voice, like Winnie the Pooh, and it did not work. So I'm just going to stop. <laughs> we need this brat to stay quiet. Let's kill him. <laughs> Aggressive. Oh, it's a male Stunky, so our attack is lowered. Mmm, don't like that. Bling bling. Boy. That's a special move, no? And it just poisons me. Hmm. Oh wow. Nice! Now we outspeed! Tackle. Got him. Good job, Brandeis. Woo! Brandy the Brandeis. They're going to dock my pa. Dock my pa. <laughs> dock my pay. Good lord. Oh, nice. Still poisoned. Spark, though. Nice outspeed. Let's go. Is this a female or a male? Male. This might kill, though. Nice. Good Oko. Okay, I got 31 steps. Oh, it's got two Zubats. Should still kill, though? If the first one killed, this has got to kill. I don't remember if I still take poison damage or not. Okay, I do not. Oop. Reminder, no evolutions, because we're doing a little lock. They gotta stay babies. Oh, they dropped their key. Eric prefers kiddos. I prefer my kiddo. <laughs> Other people's kiddos could, could be gone with you. <laughs> Ooh, thanks for the honey, honey. <laughs> Whoo! <laughs> yeah, we gotta we rub the honey on the tree, and then we come back in six hours. And by we come back in six hours, I think we set our clock. To six hours from now, Yoink. Um, which is set, which is 9.45.33, set. Whoop, hello. <laughs> it triggered my reminders. You have to click live chat instead of top chat? Oh. How did I not know that was a thing? Oh, it was Pokemojo. Hello, Pokemojo. How did I not know that was a thing? I've been doing this for like over a year and I have n no idea. This potential spam may not be visible. What am I doing with my life? Um, hold on, I need to re-get rid of the reaction overlay because it covers up your messages for some reason. Display none. Oop, hacker man. Okay, now see we're rustling. Okay, so we get an encounter here. Bag. What ball? I have balls, right? Yes, I got plenty of balls. 
Let's see what we get. Cheruby. Cheruby is a valid encounter, right? This is also. Yes, it does. Level 25. Let's go. Cadmium. I'm down. Or wait. No, Pokemon just said cherry already. Cherry red is a color. I'm going to give this one to Pokemojo. Shadow, you've had a lot. <laughs> I'll give this one to Pokemojo. Welcome, Cherry, to the squad. All right, Naive. Chlorophyll boosts speed and sunshine. That's probably useful. Um, and what is it, Naive? I don't remember what all the abilities are. Plus speed minus special defense. Okay, so we got a little bit of a fast one here. Has no good moves yet. Leech Seed is nice. Um, <laughs> but everything else is kind of sus. Okay, those are our two grass Pokemon for now. These grunts, I think I'm just going to pewter them to death. Because <laughs> between Zubat and Stunky and Glammeow, I think this, and Rock Thrower and Magnitude, this thing has everything that it needs to sweep rock throw oh don't flinch nice bye bye Easy peasy. One down. Now we got two more. We got this guy. There are only two grunts? Oh, because one of them was outside. Okay, I'm dumb. He's the outside guy. This guy is a Glammeow and a Stunky. Stinky stunky. Um, let's see how much magnitude does. Let's see. Let's see. What are we going to guess? Uh, eight? Let's guess an eight. Six. Okay. Wow, that almost killed. Rip. Gen one through four evil teams are the most dumbest grunts. <laughs> Excellent phrasing. And or their leaders in the Pokemon franchise. I will say the grunts definitely seem dumber in the earlier gens I feel like the leaders I feel almost feel like the leaders and then their like underlings switched a little bit uh not switched I think the I think the leaders also got dumb later on um <laughs> so like Giovanni is a literal mob boss he's he's a baller guy um the people who tried to revive Giovanni or like get him back to come back to Team Rocket are also kind of baller. Um, or at least I like them thematically. Um, I don't think anyone's going to say that Archie and uh, Archie and what is the other guy? The guy from Hoenn, the magma leader. I don't anyone, I don't think anyone's going to say those guys are like dumb. They have pretty good teams. Um, but like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Their Team Galactic's pretty good. Maxi, there you go. Um, actually, funnily enough, one of the hardest non-gym leaders slash Elite Four people in this game is the final boss of uh, Team Team uh, Ga uh, Galactic. So that is where we're at. Okay. Also, where we're at. We're gonna get everyone to level 17, which is the level of the Perugly. Okay, so I think the strat here. Because we probably just lead with him. Um, so we lead with him, rock throw, uh, kills the Zubat, and then we just screech and rock tomb the other guy. Um, and then everyone else takes it from there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it seems like kind of the whole play. All right. Time to take on a big bad Perugly. 